Hello and welcome to yet another brand new edition of Colors of India, your weekly cultural diary on Rajya Sabha TV. I am Tina Jha with all the latest on the cultural front during the past week. Let's begin with the highlights of what we've got for you in today's episode. First up on the show this week, a vibrant performance celebrating the festival of colors. Next, a treat for food lovers. And finally, an extravaganza of art. Let's begin the episode with Nritya Samaroh, presented by Sangeetka Institute of Performing Arts. The event saw three classical dance forms being presented by renowned dancers and musicians of the genre, all of whom have contributed towards preserving Indian art and culture. The highlight of the show was a piece depicting Lord Krishna and Radha playing Holi. Nritya Samaro, presented by Sangeetka Institute of Performing Arts, put up a delightful Kathak performance by renowned dancers Nalini Kamalini and her group. The graceful moves by the sister duo impressed the audience, who were particularly captivated by their powerful footwork and hand movements, which added a special charm to their performance. Nalini Kamalini opened the concert with Ram Stuti, followed by Ram Bhajan, portraying the different moods of Lord Ram. Nalini Kamalini are exponents of the Banaras Gharana of Kathak and have won several accolades for their performances. Born in Agra and brought up and educated in Delhi, the sister duo received their training under Guru Jitendra Maharaj. Their tryst with Kathak began at a tender age. Little did they know then that it was the beginning of a long journey. जब स्कूल में पढ़ती थी मैं सेवन्थ क्लास में थी तब गुरुजी के सानिध्य में आई और मैंने नृत्य करना शुरू किया और फिर मैं मैं एथलेटिक थी बहुत फास्ट रनर थी एथलेट थी तो मेरे भागते पाँव को गुरुजी ने सुरलय ताल में बांध के नृत्य आंगना बनाया मैं उनकी बहुत बहुत शुक्रगुजार हूँ असल में क्या है कि मैं बनास घराने से संबंधित हूँ लेकिन मैंने मंदिर शैली के प्रचार के लिए अभी तक कार्य किया है और ये लुप्त तो नहीं हुआ था लेकिन थोड़ा इसका जो प्रचार था वो कम हो गया था और उसमें फिर योगदान जो नलनी का मलनी ने किया है वो मेरे मतलब गुरु होने के नाते मुझे बड़ी प्रसन्नता होती है कि देखिए सारी ज्योतिर्लिंग में उन्होंने नृत्य किया है मानसरोवर कैलाश मानसरोवर नृत्य किया है और सारी जितने भी टेम्पल्स हैं चाहे चितम्बरम हो कहीं भी हो उनमें नृत्य किया है और विदेशों के अतिरिक्त सारी भारत में वो नृत्य कर रही हैं और इसी का प्रचार कर रही हैं
for their refined sensibilities and subtlety, Nalini Kamalini left the audience spellbound with their graceful moves and impeccable footwork. The stage presence of the two sisters was captivating, their emotiveness deep and pure, their artistry, especially their footwork, immaculate. The close similarity in their physical appearance heightened the fluidity of the presentation, leading to an overall mesmeric effect of visual continuity on the stage. कंचन देहसी कामनी अरु कटी लता ने संधे मृग नैनी गजगामनी नलिनी कमलनी दुए तो ये हमारी पहचान है कि हम दोनों हमेशा साथ होते हैं तो पूरक होते हैं आपको आनंद आएगा और खासकर जो हमारे प्रधानमंत्री की योजना है एक भारत श्रेष्ठ भारत हमारी संस्कृति हमारी पहचान तो इसी पहचान को हम सामने ला उजागर करेंगे हमारी सोच ये है कि हमारी संस्कृति क्या हो सकती है हमारी कला है तो उसकी क्या पहचान है तो हम लोगों ने गंगा का एक दृश्य लिया है एक हम लोगों ने रामायण से लिया है एक हमने भागवत से लिया है इस तरह से हमने जो हमारे माइथोलॉजिकल थीम्स हैं उसमें से लेके हम लोग आज की प्रस्तुति कर रहे हैं कुछ कथक के माध्यम से कुछ भरतनाट्यम कुछ मोहनी नाट्यम के माध्यम से performed on a number of compositions but the best was a piece depicting holy celebrations between Radha and Krishna. Marked by colorful performances, the concert created an appropriate atmosphere for spectators to revel in the festive mood. Not just Kathak, the concert also showed two other classical dance forms, Mohini Atam and Bharat Natyam. The idea was to bring together various dance styles asking people to learn about Indian classical dance forms, the essence of which lies in Indian tradition. Almost every dancer created magic on stage with their brilliant footwork. The rhythmic memories of this magical evening were no less than a treat for any art lover. Well, the event provided a national platform to the new generation of artists as well as established senior artists. The ones who made an indelible impression on the audience were Kathak exponents Nalini and Kamalini. The veteran dancing sisters from Delhi represent the Banaras Gharana of Kathak, which is believed to be the oldest of the three schools. We hope you like this celebration of dance. With that, time for us to slip into a very short break Lots more coming up on the other side. Do stay with us. When we return, we take you to a food carnival. Welcome back after the break. Let's now take you to India's biggest culinary challenge, the Culinary Art India. The 14th edition of the food festival was held at Pragati Maidan in New Delhi where food lovers witnessed live demonstrations by renowned chefs displaying their excellent cooking skills. The event also saw thrilling competitions among the chefs. Let's get your glimpses from this world-class culinary fest. Food enthusiasts and gastronomes were in for a treat as India's biggest culinary challenge, Culinary Art India marked its return to the national capital recently. Hosted by the Indian Culinary Forum and Hospitality First, in association with the ITPO, the 14th edition of the annual food event saw chefs demonstrating their culinary expertise, 
and competing in different categories like plated appetizers, contemporary sushi platter, plated deserts, authentic Indian regional cuisine and fruit and vegetable carving. The four-day culinary festival was staged alongside the Ahar International Fair. This year we are celebrating 14th edition. The, the aim and objective of this uh, event is to uh, offer a kind of uh, platform to our fellow chefs, young chefs, students, to, to showcase their talent and culinary skills. At the same time, share knowledge, enhance culinary knowledge. So there are many categories which are uh, there in this competition, starting from uh, appetizers to pati food, cakes, main courses, live cooking. And this year we have more than 300 uh, entries, you see, which is a record over the years. This year, more than 300 experienced and apprentice chefs participated at the culinary festival. The focus was to recognize and felicitate excellence in culinary art in India. At the event, senior chefs exhibited their recipes, out of which the best ones were selected by a panel of renowned chefs and then awarded. Chef Lokesh Bajaj was honoured with the gold medal. Most of his recipes were Indian. The Delhi-based chef celebrated the theme of Punjabi Indian cuisine in his recipes. Some of his delicious recipes included Chana Zor, Amritsari Fish, Alu Vare and Matar Ki Firni. I have brought Punjab theme of Punjab, present Punjabi food. और इसमें आपको जो मिलेगा बिल्कुल पंजाबी थीम मिलेगी पंजाबी टेस्ट मिलेगा पंजाबी स्पाइसेस हैं कोई भी इसमें दूसरा स्टेट का कोई खाना नहीं है सारा कुछ पंजाब से लेके बहुत ही एक अट्रैक्टिव मेन्यू बनाया मैंने जिसको मैंने खुद ही क्रिएट किया है जो कि जैसे कि मैं स्टार्टर में आपको दो तीन नाम बताता हूं वेजिटेरियन में चना जोर जो कि बाजार में बहुत असल से मिलता है चना जोर को लेके मैंने बनाया है और फ्रेश काबुली चना को लेके मैंने बनाया है साथ ही मैंने फिर एक नॉन वेज बनाया है अपना सिरका प्याज जो कि सिरका मुर्ग सिरका प्याज जिसमें मैंने चिकन थाई ली है उसके अंदर ब्रेस्ट का कीमा डाला है जो कि लोग होटल रेस्टोरेंट में उसको भूनते हैं हम लोगों ने स्टफिंग कच्चे की करके उसको बेक किया है और ये अपने आप में है अंदर से जूसी रहेगा Third one is the Amritsari fish. I have put a fish in it. I have made a palak, garlic, and chutney stuffed. It will be authentically Amritsari taste. The Another chef, Ankur Kishore, painted the food show in a festive mood with Rajasthani cuisines for Holi. He exhibited a variety of traditional as well as tribal Rajasthani cuisines like mutton banjara chap and TK mirch ke sabz kebab. He left a mark with the best use of Indian spices in his recipes. I have made a Rajasthani holy theme here. Uh, like uh, a festival season is on and uh, I have brought in the colours. Uh, colours are a very important part of life and uh, that's why I have uh, brought in the a colourful theme. Rajasthan is a state uh, which is filled with uh, joyous moments and uh, people used to spend their time uh, in Rajasthan and that's why I have made uh, this Rajasthani buffet here in which I have made uh, uh, mutton banjara chap uh, which is a traditional Rajasthani uh, traditional Rajasthani starter as well as uh, I have made this uh, murke sule which is uh, also a traditional Rajasthani and very famous uh, Rajasthani dish. The food festival was a perfect platform for young chefs as well as students, offering them an opportunity to interact with the country's most renowned chefs. There were also different competitions for budding chefs. 
They were tasked with preparing certain food items within a stipulated time. The Culinary Art India Challenge had something for everyone. Food lovers were seen enjoying the fest, making a beeline to catch a glimpse of the live kitchen and culinary art on display by the renowned chefs. The 14th edition of Culinary Art India brought together more than 300 chefs under one roof, giving them an opportunity to showcase their culinary skills. The event witnessed live demonstrations by culinary enthusiasts and renowned chefs. The idea was to create a platform where culinary professionals across India could display their individual and combined skills. With camera person Avdesh, this is Vandana Kumari for Rajya Sabha TV. Culinary Art India is organized with an objective to establish an opportunity for the senior and apprentice chefs across the country to display their individual as well as combined skills, creative talent, learn and share their experiences. This year too, the Professional Culinary Challenge gave chefs a platform to demonstrate their culinary skills as well as help them improve so as to meet international standards. With that, time for another quick break on the program. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. On the other side of the break, a painting exhibition by Sushant Kumar Das. Welcome back once again. Time now to take you to a solo exhibition of paintings, drawings and sculptures by Sushant Kumar Das. Titled Search for Sense, the exhibition displayed works inspired by events from our daily lives. Take a look. Sushanta Kumar Das's latest art show, Search for Sense, provided people with a glimpse of everyday life events. The painter weaved his works into a universal language, depicting the lives of ordinary people and even animals that we generally ignore. What differentiates his work from the others was his use of an imaginative interplay of form, color and texture. His painting reflected his different approach and observation of the world around him. My theme is Danik Jeevan, Danik Life, which we live in the world of the world. I have tried to do it. I have used acrylic painting. I have used black and white wash painting. I have used a marble painting. स्टोन का एक सीरीज पूरा हमने बनाया हुआ है। This was the sixth solo show of Sushanta, showcasing different portrayals of ordinary humans and stray dogs. Sushanta's trust with painting began around three decades ago. He has also done a five-year course in fine arts from BHU. Initially, he could not devote his full time in arts. because he was doing other jobs for his livelihood. But from the last six years after his retirement, the painter has been actively involved in painting. When I went to the College of Art, I was in the middle of sketching. I was on the station or on the street or on the street. I was sketching on the street. और कोई लोग चाय पी रहे हैं, कोई कुत्ता बाहर बैठा है, कुछ काम काम कर रहे हैं, कुछ भिखारी बैठा हुआ है, तो भीख मांग रहे हैं, तो ये सारे मैं जिंदगी की जो सही रूप है, वो हमको बहुत ज़्यादा प्रभावित किया है। मिस्टर सुशांत कुमार दास इज अ वेरी गुड एग्जांपल ऑफ द आर्ट दैट इवॉल्व्ड इन बंगल the art of our country. It is essentially what I call expressionism that evolved out of the Bengal school. And they were people who linked their work to the masses. You notice that in his art, 
you have people and dogs and crows living in the same area. So, in a sense, the scavenger, human, animal or bird, became the symbol of these artists who saw that you live in a country where you are perfectly capable of working, but you are never given a job. And you are forced to rely on alms from the people. His larger works depicted the simple lives of ordinary people ranging from rack pickers to factory workers. Here the painter tried to draw his viewers' attention to such people and their lifestyle whom people otherwise ignore and avoid. In one of his works, the painter displayed the helpless conditions of stray dogs, asking viewers to show compassion for these animals who don't have a voice to express their pain. The exhibition also featured different forms of sculptures, most of them were given the shape of leaves. These sculptures were carved in white marble using the chisel. Sushanta strived for simplicity in his works while retaining its original essence. The art show was indeed a treat, giving viewers a slice of everyday life events. And time now for our weekly cultural calendar where we tell you all about the upcoming cultural events in your city. Theatre lovers in Ahmedabad can watch the play Macbeth being staged at Natrani Amphitheatre, Ashram Road, Usmanpura, 8.30pm onwards on 29th of March. Mumbai will host the event Amartya's Trio at Experimental Theatre NCPA Nariman Point, 7pm on the 18th of March. The Holy Music Fest will be held in Bengaluru at the Bangalore Gayan Samaj, Krishna Rajendra Road, 6.30 p.m. on 24th of March. Dance drama Krishna will be held in New Delhi at the Kamani Auditorium, Kopernikus Mark Mandi House, 6 p.m. on 22nd March. And a Hindi play Bali Ganj Unis Sanabbe will be staged at GD Birla Sabhagat. 6.30 p.m. on 23rd March. You can also send us details of important cultural events taking place in your city. You can write to us on subrang.rstv at gmail.com. We'll try and include those in our weekly cultural calendar. You can also send us your feedback and suggestions about our program. In case you miss the television broadcast, you can watch the episode on YouTube and Twitter. So that's it from us this week on Colors of India. We'll be back same time next week with another brand new episode. Until then, take very good care of yourself. It's a goodbye from the entire team.